Question 20. The diagram shows a solid shape. The solid shape is made from a cylinder and a hemisphere. The radius of the cylinder is equal to the radius of the hemisphere. The cylinder has a height of 10 centimeters squared. The curved surface area of the hemisphere is 32 pi. And we're asked to work out the total surface area of the solid shape. Okay. Now, in order to tackle this problem, one thing I'm going to want to know for sure is the radius. So let's see if we can work towards that. If you look at the front of your paper, you'll find that the surface area of a sphere, the surface area of a sphere is given as 4 pi r squared. So the surface area of a hemisphere or half a sphere is going to have to be half that. So that must be 2 pi r squared. Now, we were told that this curved surface area of our hemisphere is 32 pi. So I can now say that 2 pi r squared must equal 32 pi. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to get 16. I'm also going to divide both sides by pi. And we get r squared equals 16, which means that r must equal the square root of 16, which is going to have to be 4. So we know, we know that the radius of our shape is now 4 centimeters. Okay. Now, we're going to want to get the curved surface area of this uh, cylinder. In fact, let's, let's go a little bit easier to start. Let's get the area of the base of the shape. Now, the base of the shape is a circle. So I'm going to say the area of the base has to be pi r squared, pi times 4 squared, which is clearly 16 pi. Remember, we're leaving our answer in terms of pi. Do not use 3.14, just leave pi as pi. So I've got the base. Uh, like I said, I'm going to want the curved surface area of the cylinder. Now, in order to get that, we're going to need the circumference of the cylinder times by its height. So the curved surface area of the cylinder is going to be the circumference of the base which is pi times d which is going to be 8 pi times by the height which is 10 so that's got to be 80 pi and now finally we we're going to get the total surface area the total surface area of our shape is going to be the base, which we've got to be 16 pi, plus the curved surface area of the cylinder, which is 80 pi, plus the, the curved surface area of the hemisphere, which is given to us as 32 pi. Adding those together, um, 80 and 32 is going to give me. 112, 112, 128 pi. So the total surface area is 128 pi, and that should be enough to get you the full five marks.